The Ministry of Defence in India is contemplating approving the purchase of six domestically produced Netra MK-1A Airborne Warning and Control System AWACS, aircraft. This move aims to bolster the Indian Air Forces IAF, air defence capabilities, especially considering the current shortfall of AWACS assets. Currently, the IAF operates only five AWACS aircraft, fewer than its regional counterparts like Pakistan and China, which possess 9 and 30 AWACS respectively. This existing gap could pose strategic challenges for India in scenarios involving aerial engagements or hypothetical two-front air conflicts. Recognizing this deficiency, the Indian Air Force sees acquiring the Netra MK-1A AWACS as a crucial step to mitigate risks and potentially enhance operational effectiveness. Presently, the IAF operates three Embraer ERJ-145 aircraft under the Netra MK-1A designation for AO and CS AWACS roles. However, as the ERJ-145 platform is no longer in production, the Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, and the IAF are actively seeking available units in secondary markets. Additionally, there is a proposal from Embraer to use Preter 600 aircraft for similar surveillance roles. The ERJ-145 has a proven track record spanning over two decades across various airlines worldwide, making it a reliable aircraft in diverse operational environments. With dimensions of 29.87 meters in length, 20.04 meters in wingspan, and 6.76 meters in height, powered by two A3007A1E engines, the aircraft exhibits impressive performance metrics. It has a takeoff thrust of 39.67 kN or 8,917 pounds force, a maximum takeoff weight of 22,000 kg, a maximum landing weight of 19,300 kg, and a maximum payload capacity of 5,786 kg. Performance wise, the ERJ 145 achieves a maximum cruise speed of Mach 0.78 and requires a takeoff field length of 2,270 meters, with a landing field length of 1,400 meters. With a service ceiling of 37,000 feet and a range of 2,873 kilometers, the aircraft offers extensive operational coverage for various missions and tasks. The decision to prioritize indigenous development comes amidst delays and financial challenges impacting the IAF's AWACS fleet expansion. Opting for the domestically developed Netra MK-1A enables the Ministry of Defense to address operational requirements while supporting India's defense industrial base and achieving cost efficiencies. This approach involves procuring second-hand ERJ-145 aircraft for integrating Netra MK-1A systems, thereby enhancing IAF capabilities within budgetary constraints. The Netra project, initiated by the Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, in 2003, aimed to enhance the surveillance and tracking capabilities of the Indian Air Force, IAF. A joint study between the IAF and DRDO assessed the feasibility of developing such a system, leading to governmental approval and assigning primary responsibility to the Center for Airborne Systems, CABS. Various DRDO laboratories played pivotal roles in different aspects of the project, with LRDE focusing on radar array design deal on communication systems, and dare on self-protection suites. Private sector firms and institutions like the National Aerospace Laboratories, NAL, contributed expertise in aerodynamics and flight modeling. Central to the DRDO AO and CS design is the Active Antenna Array Unit, AAAU, featuring two radiating planar arrays assembled back-to-back -back atop the fuselage to provide 240 degrees coverage. The system is engineered to house various components within minimal dimensions while optimizing mass properties. The AAO incorporates Indian Design Transmit Receive Modules, TRMMs, for efficient radar operation. In addition to radar capabilities, the AO and CS boasts mission functionalities including identification friend or foe, IFF, electronic and communication support measures, and data links for networking with fighters and ground-based control systems. Equipped with a self-defense suite, air-to-air -air refueling system, and comprehensive communication capabilities, the aircraft facilitates effective coordination in operational scenarios.